invoice to go tutorial how to use invoice to go for your invoices and more hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how to use invoice to go to create professional invoices manage customer relationships accept payments improve cash flow and create an online presence so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply go to invoice to dot to go dot home and you will land on this platform right here invoice to go is all in one platform with a lot of different features and tools for us such as invoices payments bank account invoice application projects reports payrolls and integrations to get started with invoice to go you will find the option right here click on try it out for free now all you have to do is simply enter your full name right here work email address and password click on agree with terms and services and then select this option try it out for free we can also sign up with our google account facebook or apple once you sign up for invoice to go this is where you will get and this is our account that we get on invoice to go so you can see right here we have our main menu right here we have home clients projects then we have invoices estimates purchase orders credit memos items expenses appointments time tracking instant website engage integrated apps reports help and refer invoice to go so you can see right here invoice to go is actually all in one platform with not just invoicing but we get our own appointments time tracking and instant website so uh, let's get started with any invoice. Let's create a brand new invoice on invoice to go. So you will simply go to invoices right here and then click on create an invoice. It will take you to your, you know, invoice right here. You can see. And now we have to actually add clients before we create a invoice. So simply click on add client. To add a client on invoice to go, we have to enter their name mobile number email address and bill to we can simply enter their billing address here so i will quickly go ahead and fill this up once you have added the details right here you can click on save client and you can see a new client will be created then we have the item option right here so we have to add an item let's go ahead and create a new item so all you have to do is simply enter the item name so let's say that we actually sold services so i will simply type in the name there you go and we have to select the quantity so it was actually three and the rate for each of uh, the different you know item the one only service was for 700 and you will write here so we actually have to select the currency from here and i will show you how to change the currency um and we also get the tax option days and hours so for now this is our item and i can add more items if i want to i can also add the expenses to add any expense you can click on this option right here or you can go back to the main menu and add expenses from here there then we also have the time entries where we will be able to add our billable hours and we have appointments as well for this kind of item like online services we mostly go with appointments because this was in the form of an appointment so once you've added the item right here you can also go ahead and attach in a photo or a video any attachment a file right here then we have comments so to add comments you simply click right here and you will enter the comment there you go so you will also get a preview of your invoice right here and you can also get a preview with this option and it will show you that this is what your invoice looks like pretty simple you get bill to you have invoice number date terms then you have the description quantity weight and amount we can also save it as a pdf we can view it as a pdf as well um, so this is it and then you simply click on save and close or you can send it so so to send you you have the email address right here and this is going to be the subject and this is what it looks like this is going to be a pdf invoice so it's really easy to create invoices with invoice to go nothing complicated and you can see you can also add a message here attach another file so we have invoice all you have to do is just you know send the invoice and we can also attach different payment methods here uh, for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save and close and not send it because i just created this one for the purpose of the video so you can see right here we have two invoices here now you can see in home we have clients i showed you how to create a brand new client on invoice to go it's really easy 
click on add client and again we simply enter their email address uh, name billing address if they have a website it's optional you enter the basic detail and click on save then we also have projects so we can create different projects right here on invoice to go so to create a new project you will simply click on this option right here and you can add the client's name or you can select a client from your list that you have so i will select this client right here and click on create project now we can simply give our project a name let's call it test and then we can add a project description then we have to add the project location or whatever location you want to add of course according to your client and then we have dates and you can just simply select a month and then you have to simply select a there you go so and then you can also select an end date this is how we simply create a project right here and this way we will be able to create different projects and manage our clients better then we can add all of the invoices to a project or a client here and we will be able to you know check the status as well if it's active or completed so this helps us to organize better and you can see right here now we have a project after that, we have again invoices, estimates, items, expenses, appointments, and time tracking. If we go to estimates right here, you will be able to create a brand new estimate. Click on uh, create an estimate, add a client's name, uh, simply select a client from here. And again, you can add a new client as well if you want to, or you can add a previous client. And again, we add an item, uh, whatever you want to add, or maybe you can go with the same item that you had and you simply click on add that's it you can add the attachments comments pretty similar to how we create an invoice simply click on save and close and a new estimate will be created right here on your invoice to go then if we are looking for the basic settings for our account uh, what we can do is we can go to accounts and settings right here and then we will be able to change the tax and currency as i showed you earlier that we can change the currency from here so this will be actually added according to your google if you log in with your google account and so i'm going to quickly go ahead and change the currency there you go okay and the currency will be changed click on save similarly we have the payment options right here we have export data we have customized invoice design um if you want to choose another one then we have integrations as well and we can connect our invoice to go with our quickbooks zero and zapier also our fresh books our different accounting uh, software to help us customize our invoice to go experience similarly we also have the engage and in instant website option very easy to use and it helps us get more productive, save a lot of time and keep track of our budget, create a professional invoices and also um, increase our customer relation. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to use invoice to go. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.